hey how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix fps drops lags and stutter in dune awakening dropped recently this video will be covering all of the best windows settings as well as the game settings to ensure that you get the maximum performance out of your pc so make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said let's get started with the intro Number one is the best Windows settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and once you're over here, come down to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. Since it is an overlay service and you do not use it quite often, disabling that will help you to improve your performance drastically. Then go back and head over to game mode and turn this thing on since it helps you to disable unwanted notifications and services in the background of your PC to improve your performance. After that click on the graphic settings over here and then optimizations for windowed games should be turned on and then over here click on add desktop app and once you're over here double click on dune awakening dune sandbox binaries win64 and then select dune sandbox win64 shipping.exe and then click on add once that is added click on it and then for the gpu preference select high performance over here and optimizations for windowed games should be turned on once that is done head over to personalization and then click on colors and over here disable transparency effects and once that is done simply close the settings next step is compatibility settings and for that simply head over to your steam right click on your game click on manage and then click on browse local files once you are in here head over to dune sandbox binaries win64 and then and over here you'll find dune sandbox win64 shipping.exe right click on that head over to its properties then compatibility and over here click on disable full screen optimizations then click on change high dpi settings and select override high dpi scaling behavior click on ok click on apply and then ok once that is done simply close it next step is disabling unwanted background applications and for that search for group policy editor and this step will only be available for windows pro users over here double click on computer configuration administrator templates windows components app privacy and right over here you'll find let windows apps run in the background double click to open up this policy and ensure that this is set to enable this is the policy and not the policy property over here in the option settings you'll find default for all applications which should be set to force deny click on apply and then click on ok and this will ensure that the background applications are completely turned off once that is done and simply close it next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your pc and right over here look for a local disk c click on the create button and name it dune awakening just so you can remember where it is saved press enter and let it do the job it take one or two minutes but i would recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss once that is done Click on close and then close system properties. Next step is Dune Awakening FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can find in five simple folders over here. The first one is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel folder, which contains priorities for both CPU. I have an Intel CPU, so I need to apply the Intel CPU priority by simply double clicking on that. You can do the same and it helps you to set up the correct D word value for your processor to improve its priority and performance. Second folder is RAM optimization, basically it does the same thing but for your RAM. I have left a ton of presets over here. I have 32 GB RAM, so I need to apply this registry. Could be different for you, so you can apply it according to your RAM. Once again, I have left a reset to default registry over here, just in case you want to revert your settings back again. Third folder is the most important one, which is the Dune Awakening priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose over here. Fourth one is disable unwanted services in which I have left a ton of services over here which includes disabling Bluetooth services up until the Win32 priority separation. Now if you guys use any Bluetooth services or you guys use any kind of printer services, leave these two services and disable every single one of them over here which will ultimately help you to save a lot of your cpu and ram resources it reduces the number of services running in the background and helping your processor to improve the performance in the games once again if you want to revert any of them back again head over to the revert registries folder and reapply them to enable it again last and not the least is the programs folder in which i have left these three very useful programs the first one is clean temporary files bat you wanna have to right click in on it as administrator once it opens up, you wanna have to press enter on your keyboard and this will delete all temporary files right away. I would recommend you guys to do it every now and then and this will ensure that your PC performs better. Next is MSI Mode Utility 3.0. Simply right click in on it as administrator. Once it opens up, you have to look for your graphic card in this list and ensure that the MSI button next to it is checked and for the interpriority select high. 
This will ensure that your graphic card can handle higher priority of interrupts without overclocking it to improve the performance. Click on the apply button and then close it. Next is process lasso and this is a setup file. You have to install it on your PC and open it up. Now once it opens up, you guys can find a lot of processes that are running on your PC. You have to click on active processes and over here you will find uh, all of the applications that are running in the background. What you guys have to do is head over to your Steam and then click on play button on the Dune Awakening. Wait until the game is opened in the background. Over here click on the launch button. Once you see the game is running in the background, you guys have to find the Dune Sandbox Win64 Shipping.exe in the active processes and over here you have to right click on that. Head over to the CPU priority and then for current select high over here. After that you have to head over to CPU affinity then click on current and over here you have to disable CPU zero. This will ensure CPU performance in a lot of situation once again if that doesn't give you better performance you have to re-enable CPU over it. here and once all of that is done you guys have to head over to the boost section click on current and then select on and after that you can simply close this software now once all of that is done simply close the fps pack the next step will be disabling unwanted windows animations and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and press enter Right over here in the visual effects section, click on custom and only enable save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. All of these settings will help you to minimize the look of your windows and improve the performance of your PC. Simply click on OK. Next step is MS config and for that simply search for MS config over here and open up system configuration. Head over to the boot section, click on advanced options over here and then click on number of processors. Choose the maximum number of processor available on your PC, click on OK, click on Apply and then head over to the Services section. Click on Hide All Microsoft Service and disable all kind of Fan Control Service, RGB Service, Browser Update Service, Printer Services or any other service which you feel that is unknown to you. This will ensure less number of processes running in the background and improve performance while you are playing the game. Ensure that you do not disable Easy Anti-Cheat as it is really important to open your games. If you disable them, your games might not open up. Once all of that is done, you guys can now drop into the game with the best in game settings. Alright, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to settings. In here, go down to your display settings and your FOV is set to the default ones. You can change it if you want. Then motion blur and vsync should be turned off. Frame rate cap should be set to unlimited. Then you'll find dynamic HUD ultra wide support which you guys have to turn this thing off. Use hardware cursor, you guys can enable that. Show hotbar should be turned on and rest of the things you can keep it by default. Then head over to the graphic settings and over here for the window mode go with windowed full screen so you guys can use frame generation. Upscaling quality, I have gone with low but you guys can go with medium as well. For the upscaling method you can go with DLSS if you have an NVIDIA graphic card or FSR if you have a AMD graphic card and Intel ZES if you have an Intel based graphic card. For the frame generation method if that is available for you go with FSR. Override upscaling preset set this thing to on. For the resolution scale you guys can go down to 60% that is absolutely fine. DLSS upscaling quality would be set accordingly. Come down and you'll find nvidia reflex if you guys can change it set this thing to enable plus boost i cannot for shadows go with low gi quality i have gone with medium but you guys can also go with low reflections quality you guys can go with low or medium doesn't really impact a lot on your gpu under the quality settings you guys can find low end laptop mode and limit cpu process usage both of them are experimental and over here I would recommend you guys to enable both of them in the start and then check your impact on your FPS. If your FPS increases, keep them on. If it decreases, turn one of them off. Then check with one of them on and then repeat this process until you get the best settings out of it. For me, limit process CPU usage and disabling low end laptop mode gives the best performance. For view distance, go with medium. Post processing, you guys can go with low. Effects quality, you guys can go with medium. And texture quality, go with high. For foliage quality, you go with low. And once that is done, confirm these changes. Once all of that is done, press your escape key. And then now you guys can drop into the game with the best FPS available. 
now my FPS goes above 100. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button. Really helps me grow the channel. We are very close to 250,000 subscribers and I trust you all. We'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.